box. So the central box takes that three cell LiPo and reduces it down to whatever our set value is. So in this case, we'll be running it probably at 8.4 volts and the servos get a steady 8.4 volts all the time. Now teed off of those batteries is things like our compressor as an example. Um, our afterburner lights, we're, need, we're gonna need to put a, an S back or a back on that to drop it down to two cell LiPo. So there's some other things that we'll be adding into the list of components, but this is our getting started point. So we've got two Rec7 receivers. These are the long ones with the 40 centimeter dipole antennas. Of course, we're using a Cortex Pro in the aircraft. We've got an M-Speed sensor, the 450EX, which is standard equipment for us. Uh, the SP06 switch is going to be for the SkyMaster lighting setup. So the, this is the newest generation of controllers. Looks like the other one just with a different label on it, but these are parasitic. So when there's battery connected, they're turned on. And that's what the SP06 is for. So this will be powering the SkyMaster lighting controller. When everything's turned on, this will turn on. When it's turned off, this will turn off and the lighting controller won't be pulling any voltage from any of the uh, batteries. We've got the, uh, the NG-US version for the 900, we'll be adding that. And then our RC switch, this is the small one without any antennas. So that's our electronics portion. And then last but not least, we've got our servo layout. 